know what my favorite project pan is. Of course, it is pan those eyeshadows and that is what I am updating today. Now, this update is going live a little bit later than scheduled just because I was so close to hitting pan and I was determined that I was gonna hit pan before I filmed this update. So a little bit of a switcheroo, but I promise it's worth it. I do have a pan to share with you today. I'm so, so excited. Now, a lot of YouTubers do this project pan on their channels and everyone does it a little bit differently. So how I like to do it is I have four eyeshadows in at a time. All of them are from different categories. So I have one random single eyeshadow, one random eyeshadow from my main collection. I have one eyeshadow from my Focus palette, which is my Carnival XL Pro. And then I also have one hand chosen shade in my eyeshadow collection. So there's a lot of things going around. I've got to try and keep track of all that. But my end goal is either 15 uses or pan, whichever comes first, or if I hit 15 uses and want to carry on, I can choose to then go forward to pan as well. Now I'm so excited to update this project, but just before I do, if you have not already, like and subscribe, because I upload every single day here on my YouTube channel. I love bright fun, colorful makeup, as you can probably tell. I love project panning and get ready with me's, all that fun stuff, so I'm sure you will never get bored here on my channel. I hope you do stick around because I'm trying to hit 5k by the end of the year and our little family is growing every single day. It just makes me so unbelievably happy, so if that all sounds good to you, then definitely stick around. Okay, so without further ado, I'm just gonna jump straight into it. So I have four palettes to share with you today and I'm gonna go actually from oldest to newest. Normally I go newest to oldest but I mean I want to I want to keep you waiting for that pan. <laughs> so the first eyeshadow that I'm gonna talk about today comes from my Huda Wild Jaguar palette and it is the middle shade of the palette. Now this was a hand chosen shade in my makeup collection and you can see from last month's progress picture it is the most beautiful purpley sparkly duochrome. I absolutely love this shade so much. I wanted to roll it in just because it would go so well with my pan matte palette and the shine on this is just ridiculous. So of course I wanted to play around with it more. And this is what it looks like today. Hopefully you can see there is definitely some disturbance in the pan. This shade is so firmly pressed. Like it is ridiculous. It is like a rock. So the fact that we've got any visual progress at all is actually really, really amazing. And I am definitely gonna hit 15 uses before before I hit pan. This is what it looks like. These shades aren't named, so it's just the one, two, three, four, fifth shade in this palette. I love this. I'm gonna remember to swatch everything. So it is a super high shine, kind of duochrome. It's a black based purple with a kind of yellowy flip to it. It is the most stunning shade in the world. I love it so much. Oh my goodness me. Look at that swatch. So I have used this four times this month for a total of nine uses in the project. It's been in for two months now and I just think this shade is so stunning. I am working on Bomb Fresco, which is a similar shade to this up top. It's like one of those taupey, dusty, pinky shades. And my go-to look for work recently has just been Bomb Fresco with this all over the lid. I will share some more specific looks later in this video, but this has just made me feel so nice and beautiful. Every time I wear it, I feel like sparkly. I feel so stunning and I'm so happy that I've managed to get some use on this. I really was sad when I looked at this palette because it was so unused, so unloved, especially this shade because I knew I knew it looked like this and I could just never get round to using it, but now I have indeed been using it nine times. We've got a few more uses left to go, but I am 100% certain, but by next update, this will have hit 15 uses. I feel like if we continued going further than 15 uses, this would be like a 40 use hit pan shade. 
So I'm definitely going to be rolling this out after 15 uses, but as of right now, I'm so happy with this progress. So let's move on to the next eyeshadow. So the next eyeshadow comes from my Book of Magic palette, and this is the shade Elixir. So this was a randomized shade from my whole makeup collection, and I was so excited because I love blue eyeshadow so much, and I also love this palette so much, so I was very, very excited to work on this shade. I've had this in for two months now and unfortunately it's not had the chance to get used too much just because my project level up eyeshadow palette is my Natasha Denona mini trio chrome which is an all blue palette so I feel like it's kind of been competing for attention. This is what it looks like today. Hopefully you can see there is a little bit of a dip in this but it's gonna take quite a lot of time I think to get those full uses to either hit pan or 15 uses but lucky for this uh, no spoilers, the Natasha Denona palette may be rolling out soon. Here it is, this is Elixir. I am wearing it in my eye look today, but just look at this palette. Like this whole palette is so beaten up and to have another pan in this will be absolutely amazing. I'm so excited about that. I would love to have a pan in all of these shades eventually. I think that would be such a satisfying goal. And to be honest, I'm not that far off. I'm really, really not. The shade of Elixir, it's a really, really nice mid-tone blue shade. And I've said before, blue is my happy color. I absolutely love blue eyeshadow. So this shouldn't be an issue. That's what it looks like swatched. It is so bright. Look at that. It is so pigmented. It is so blendable. It is just absolutely perfect. But as I said, it has just been like battling it out with the Natasha Denona palette. But you know what? It's time is come. It's time has finally come. So I have used this two times this month for a total of four uses in the project, which of course is not great. It's not brilliant. It's definitely been neglected and pushed to the side, but hopefully now it's gonna be able to get some amazing use on it. And I'm actually so excited to work on this. Just this palette in general, it's one of my favorite palettes. I did do a hypothetical declutter um, a few days ago. It would have gone live a few days ago. And this was in my five palettes that I kept. I just love it so much. I've always loved it. And I'm so excited to continue using it and hopefully get it the love that it deserves. Okay, the next two shades are shades that I rolled in last month. So they've only been in for one month in this project. So I'm gonna start with the shade from my Focus palette, which is this. This is the shade Ecstasy from my Carnival XL Pro palette. And as you can see, it is the most vibrant green ever. This was hand chosen from this Focus palette palette and I was so excited and also really really nervous to roll this in because I really was not sure if this was going to be a blessing or a curse. I can say now it is a hundred percent a blessing and this is what it looks like today. Hopefully you can see there is a little bit of a dip in this. I really wanted to hit pan in this and I've been working really really hard on it but sadly no pan yet but I have just fallen in love with this eyeshadow. Look at this shade. This is definitely the shade that my eye gets drawn to from this palette. Not that one, this one. I love it. I am wearing it today, you could probably guess, but this is so unique. I don't have anything like it really in my makeup collection. It's like this acid chartreuse green and it just has my heart and soul. Look at that. Oh my goodness me, look at that. It is just stunning. Now, I didn't know if I wanted to roll this in last month because it like it's a lot. It is a lot and I was kind of really scared, but I've done so many looks that I've just loved with this shade. So definitely stick around for a little bit where I show you all the looks that I've done this month. This, oh, I love, I love it so much. I've had such a good time playing around with this eyeshadow and I'm actually really happy that I didn't hit pan on it this month because I have another month to play around with it now, which makes me so happy. So I've used this six times this month, which is a hell of a lot. I think six times in one month is really, really good, especially for something this color. Like this is not an everyday casual shade. 
So six times in one month, and as I said, it was only rolled in last month, so six times in total, and I'm so excited. I think next month this is gonna have pan. Next month might be a really, really good month, to be fair, because this has a pretty big dip in it. I'm hoping you would have seen from the progress pictures, but I just love it so much. I think it's such a beautiful shade, and I can't believe that I've just overlooked it for so long. I can't believe it. I've had this palette for years and I've rarely used this shade, but now you cannot drag me away from it. I love it. And finally for the last shade in this project pan, this was my random single eyeshadow and this is what we rolled in. This is the shade Hot Fudge from J Star and it was a beautiful cool tone brown shade. Now you guys know I love my cool tone browns. If I'm not wearing color, I'm wearing a cool tone neutral eye look. So this was absolutely perfect for that. And this is what it looks like today. You can see we have a little baby pan in this eyeshadow and I actually used it a lot in my brows. It is a really really nice match for my hair color so that is why the pan is quite precise. Here we go! I used to love this in my brows. I used to wear this in my brows all the time and I actually used to have a massive pan in this but it shattered and I had to repress it so I kind of went back to my roots I guess and used this as a brow shade. It is slightly cool tone for my brows. It's not an exact match, but for this project, it's been really, really nice. I just use it six times in my brows and I have pan. Obviously, it's very, very small, but it's pan nonetheless. It counts. I'll take it. And that is what that shade looks like there. This color story has been so fun. I've loved playing around with these shades this month. So let's have a look at some looks that I did. So the first look I'm going to talk about is this look, of course. So I used the Natasha Denona Mini Trio Chrome Palette in my outer corner and I also used this shade from the Book of Magic just as a last transition shade all around my lower lash line and my outer crease and then of course I used Ecstasy as well as some of the other greens from the Carnival XL Pro just on my inner crease blended it all out. It looks beautiful. I found that with this shade, you can make it look green sometimes, but you can also make it look yellow sometimes. It's just so versatile and I just, I love this shade so much. So I'm so happy that I got to play around with both of those. I knew I was filming this video today, so I wanted to just get some last minute use on these shades and these work so well together. So the next look I'm gonna talk about is this look and this was like a purple butterfly wing kind of look. And for the majority of this look, I use my It's My Pleasure palette from ColourPop, but for that little green pop under the lower lash line, you already know I did use Ecstasy. I thought purple and green work so well together. I really wanted to wear them together, see how they looked. And I did also use the Mitchell Make A Mark liquid liner as well, just to tie those greens together. I didn't want the lower lash line to be the only green because I thought it was kind of random, but if I tied in that liner right on the outer part of the wing, I thought that would just tie everything together really nicely, make this green look a little bit less random. But I love playing with contrasting colors and pinky purple and green. I love them. If you can find a good like combination for them, I think they are absolutely stunning. So this is amazing. And I also, of course, added some gems to this look just to add a little bit of something, something else as well. But I really, really did love this. And I'm trying to get my creativity back a little bit. It's been a rough few months. So my creativity is kind of like dropped a little bit, but this look really boosted it back up again. And I'm really, really happy about that. Next, another creative, crazy, colorful look is this look and of course again I used ecstasy right on the inner part of the cut crease. This is very similar to what I'm wearing today kind of but the blue is more pink and then the cut crease is like more centered in the middle. So a little bit of a different color combo, but I, I love this look as well. I love this look as well. This was of course in conjunction with my Pam That palette, which is my modern renaissance. And again, 
a lot of gems. A lot of gems, a lot of glitter. I absolutely loved it. I've just had an absolute blast with Ecstasy recently. I can't stop combining it with like every single shade in the rainbow. Again, these like greens and like purpley pinks, the perfect combination. They look so beautiful together. So this is, I think this is the favorite look of the month, to be honest, because I just, I love this look so much. Moving away from Ecstasy for a second, I have this look. So this again is those cool tone taupes with some blues. Now I did use the shade hot fudge all out in my outer corner for this look. I would wear this look on the absolute daily basis. I love things like this so much, especially these cool tone topes. Oh, on an everyday basis, these are my jam. These are my bread and butter. If I'm going somewhere quite serious, or if I'm going to like a meeting or anything like that, this is the kind of look that I would wear, maybe minus the blue wing, but if I need to be profesh, you know, Cool Tone Topes 100% take the win. And this shade Hot Fudge has definitely given me a really, really good push of motivation and just creativity a little bit. Creativity doesn't always mean being super bright and colorful. Sometimes it just means playing around a little bit. So that was that look. I absolutely love that. I also put Virgo from the Pastel Roses, this like beautiful glitter all over the lid. You can get 20% off with the code Caitlin20 if you were looking for something from the Pastel Roses, which I'm still on cloud nine about, by the way. I absolutely love that. <laughs> and we're going back to ecstasy. Of course, this look, I loved this look as well. It was very, very low key. Compared to everything that I have on my eyes today, this was only three shades, I think. So I had ecstasy all over the lid, all in the crease, all over the lower lash line. And then I put the really dark shade from the Natasha Denona Mini Trio Chrome as a liner. And then I blended that lower lash line out with a tiny bit of this blue shade from the Book of Magic. I just wanted to add a little bit of something, something, a little bit of like less starkiness between those shades. So I thought that this shade kind of blended the other two really, really well. And I didn't know how I felt about this look at first, but now I love it so much. It was so pretty. It was so bright. It was so summery. I felt like I just got a highlighter and plastered it all over my eyes. It was so pretty. I really loved this one. Then I have this look. And again, this is hot fudge. I loved putting hot fudge on the outer corner and then blending it out with Bonfresco from my Pam That palette. Bonfresco can pull a little bit pink sometimes. So it was nice to blend it out with something very, very neutral, very, very cool, just like a, a normal, like not colorful shade at all. And it kind of toned it down a little bit and made it more smoky instead of like pink. And I absolutely love this. I wore this to the office a hell of a lot. I've been absolutely going ham on Bonfresco. It has been ridiculous. So definitely stick around for my Pan That palette update on this first of the month because... I mean, I've got some, I've got some pretty good progress. That's all I'm gonna say. Next is this stunning look. And this actually reminds me of this look that I have on today. I've only just realized I must've been in a similar mood. But again, I have ecstasy and elixir in this look. Ecstasy is all on the inner part of the crease and then elixir is all around the outer part and the lower lash line. But for this one, I added some purple in and some glitter in as well you can never go wrong with glitter. You can never go wrong with glitter. It is always an absolutely good time, a good choice, absolutely 100%. And I love this. Sometimes like cut crease and graphic liner is great, but sometimes just a simple look like this with a bunch of glitter is also like top tier. And I mean, you can see how beautiful this glitter is. It is ridiculous. So I really love this look. This was one of those looks that I really didn't want to take off. But you know, you can't sleep in makeup, otherwise you'll break out, even if that makeup is absolutely stunning. So life's unfair. <laughs> and the final look that I'm gonna talk about today is this look. This look is a combination of hot fudge and ecstasy. So I have hot fudge as a really smoky eyeliner, and then I have ecstasy blended once again on the inner part of the crease. I have this weird obsession with putting ecstasy on the inner part of the crease, it seems. It's just my go-to. Um, here we go. <laughs> this was a look that I had in mind from the first 
first time that I saw these two shades together. So I was so excited to do this look and I think it came out really, really cool. I do love this look. And that's one of the reasons I love Pando's eyeshadows. It's because you can get a random color story and just fall in love with it completely. So yeah, this is what, it, this is what I came up with. I do have a lot of looks with the shade from the Huda Beauty Jaguar palette with Bon Fresco. I just, I can't find them right now. So there you go. <laughs> okay, so my random number generator, I have zero to 133. I have 133 single eyeshadows in my collection. And let's see what we get. 102. Okay, let's see what that is. Okay, this can actually be a really, really exciting shade. So that shade is the Revolution Maxi Reloaded R9. So this is the ninth shade in that palette. And as you can see, it's like this dusty greeny kind of color. This is what it looks like, like this army green. Okay, the pigmentation isn't great, so I'm gonna do a double swatch. Okay, that is what that shade looks like. I feel like it can go really, really well with Ecstasy, and I feel like it can go really, really well with Elixir as well. I think this is gonna be a really cool color story. So let me just swatch this whole new color story, and then I'll be right back. Look at these two color stories. This is so pretty. This is like very what's on my eyes right now. I'm so excited about these. Oh, I'm very, very excited. What do you think? Do you think that I'm gonna have all of these shades done by next month? I think I can get ecstasy done and I think I can get maybe I can get all three of these done actually because I'm thinking that the Huda shade only has a few more uses. I'm on nine uses right now. So to get to 15 wouldn't be too unreasonable. And then I think Elixir may have pan and I think Ecstasy may have pan as well. So that is gonna be an amazing update if we can get all of those done by next month. What do you think? Do you think we can do it? Do you think I'm being way too optimistic? I do have a bad habit of doing that, but hopefully not. Which color story do you prefer? I'm, I'm torn, to be honest. I think this is definitely gonna be more cohesive, so I'm so excited about that. But with that being said, this is this update, guys. This is where I'm gonna love you and leave you for today. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, like and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Bye-bye.